hello welcome to next next part of my video in this video we'll be looking at how can we do translation that's all translation of the questions that's all set in the curve toolbox for this we let's have a look at the set of questions that's already done uh, here if you just remove this and if you check from here you can either either select English or Nepali let's write for some time Here at the moment language is in English but if I choose Nepali I can see all my questionnaires in Nepali for example let's see all whole bunch of questionnaires in Nepali language so how to set these two functions of language or two sets of language sorry for this we need to go to the form just save it and scroll up and for now let's just go to the project and where is where is this finger project must be here finger project then in not in the summary or in the data or setting it's in the form tab if you see down here you can see this manage translation icon uh, click here and name default language then your contextual language for now let's set english e and g uh, I can give it G1 and aid other languages. Aid languages. For, for now, let's say that it's in language name. We should click here first aid. Aid languages, then N. AV. I can give it code zero two, then click at aid. Now, once you do this, now you need to click on this pencil icon which says edit language. Hmm. in the update for now let's start from here again go and you can just say edit language oh it's an update translation now see here what you need to do is for now I can just bring my already translated version of the version of the question it is in a shortcut way and let me select Nepali from here and I can just copy it from here but you can do from either Google Translate or if you're excellent in doing yourself then there is a there is no problem for you for now let's have a look look at this paper in this question answers you need to click put your cursor copy and paste this way and go down here and you other you if you do not save it will not be saved a strict a strict will remain 
when you are not saving if you just click it save changes then it will save your translations now let's go back and check from view form let's see from here maybe you can select Nepali as well oh it's coming see you have now both options either Nepali or English but unless you translate all of your sections uh, it will just see uh, so this type of scenario therefore first you need to translate all then you can have a look at look at all at once hope oh, this is helpful uh, thank you so much for watching this video thank you